Have you heard of Unova Video, your platform for Christian content? With Unova Video, it's like this. You simply subscribe and you'll have full access to our Christian content from around the world, including the UK and in English. Our main English church services are available for live streaming on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings. You can revisit the Sunday morning services anytime and anywhere through Unova Video. There is also the chance to watch our live transmissions, which take place every single day from the Temple of Solomon. There are some meetings that provide simultaneous translation to English. New to Unova Video are the live pastors' meetings in English with Bishop Macedo every Thursday. If you miss it, you can catch up at any time and from anywhere. If you think that's all, how about watching transmissions from over nine countries and in six different languages? All this Christian content is exclusively for you and your family right here on Unova Video. All you have to do is sign up. Already excited to get on board? Well, we have some exciting news for you. For the first 2,000 subscriptions, there is a promotional price of 50% off the annual cost. This means that you get to make a one-off payment of £32.50 for the year and get all this content with no hassle of monthly payments. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Simply go to univervideo.com online or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card at the ready and simply choose your terms of payment. Before you know it, you'll be up and running. Subscribe today and discover the best Christian content online. Univa Video, a universe of Christian content within your reach. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Be Inspired. For some of you in different parts of the world, it may be a good morning. Some of you may be a good afternoon. For us here in the UK, it's 10 p.m. And this is the time that Be Inspired comes on the air. And I would like to invite those of you who are watching with us to stay with us throughout this programming because we do want to inspire you. We want to awaken your faith, especially through the Word of God and especially through the testimonies, the real stories that we are going to show here for you to, to be able to see what God has done in the lives of those who have used their faith. There's no use just to say that you have faith. A lot of people can say, I have faith. I have a lot of faith. Some people, they think that just by having faith that it's sufficient, it's enough. But there's no use for you to have faith if you don't use it. And in this program, we are going to use our faith, just like the people that you're going to watch in the testimonies, how they use their faith, how they had to take an action. They had to, you know, you take the first step in order for God to react to their faith. Yes, because our God is a God of reaction. When we take an action, we act so He reacts to that faith. And I'm certain that here this evening, God is going to react to your faith in action. He's going to react to you who in this programming you are going this program you're going to be praying with us. You can even prepare some water by your side. Have it re ready next to you a bottle of water, a cup of water, a glass of water. Maybe you know someone that right now has health problems. Someone that has an illness, someone who might be in the hospital. Someone that even, you know, you've heard you've heard of uh, uh, you got the news lately, the bad news unfortunately that they've been diagnosed with an incurable disease. Maybe someone in your family, you've been hoping that they get better, they haven't recovered yet. Let's use our faith. Let's determine for the God that He is the doctor of doctors. He's the one, the, the Lord of lords, 
the one that for him nothing is impossible. Let's determine. Let's join our faith here this evening, determining that a miracle is going to happen. This coming Sunday, as you can see behind me, you see there the holy oil. We're going to have the day of power here in the house of God. It's going to be a, a special day. And yes, it will be a day of miracles. But maybe you say, I can't wait for Sunday. I need God's help today. I need Him to help me today. So stay with us because something's going to happen even today. Here in this program, God's power will be manifested in your life or in the life of a, of a relative of yours or a friend of yours, whoever it may be. We're going to unite our faith and God, He will manifest Himself in their lives. If you know someone right now, you want to invite them to connect to the program, I advise you to do that. Send them the link, repost the message that you receive yourself. You Maybe you got a text, maybe you got the link. Now would be a good time for you to send it out to someone. Send it, no, no matter, we don't know where the link could reach. There may be someone that will reach this link. Someone will see it. Sometimes you think like this, Pastor, sometimes I send the link. No one says, uh, no one says thank you. No one likes it. No one... I get no feedback, but you never know. Nowadays, these are the leaflets that we can send out like we used to before we go on the street sending out leaflets and newspapers. These links that we send out, you never know who is going to reach this link. You never know who's going to reach your message. It's, it's, it's something that we don't have the control over to know exactly where it will reach. But we know one thing, that if we use our faith, if we, we, we stretch it out, the invitation, God will, the Holy Spirit will allow someone to connect and they will be blessed, okay? I'm going to share with you right now a testimony of someone who used the holy oil, someone who used their faith, and yes, they were healed, they were set free. If you want also, you have a testimony, maybe you say, Pastor, I have a testimony. I'm someone who recently, I, I, I was in the service, the online service, I was in person, I came sick to the church, and I got healed, just like we saw on Sunday here through Liberty Radio app, we saw so many testimonies, people texting, sending their testimonies, but you haven't recorded it yet. So then you ought to record your testimony and be part of the great cloud. As you can see right there, you as well, you too can be part of this great cloud. You should be and you will be. And if you're not there yet, agree that you will be from this moment on. And when you have a testimony, record it, send it to my testimony at uckg.org or via WhatsApp, you can send it at 020 seven six eight six six thousand that's the number you can send via whatsapp which happens to be also the number of of our helpline so just take note of that and when you have your testimony take your phone record it doesn't have to be all professional it can be just as from your your phone a simple recording two minutes and you can be sure you'll be blessing someone through your testimony and you'll be giving God all the glory. Let's go now to the first testimony and have your water ready because very soon we're going to pray and determine your healing. Let's watch. Hi, my name is Jean. I'm from the, the branch of Bullring and I'm here to give my testimony of the oil, the whole anointed oil that we had in our church. And I use the oil I used the oil because I had a pain. It, this pain was, it was, it was so difficult for me to walk. This pain was like unbearable, and you know it was this opportunity that I had when the, we had the oil, and I determined that I am not going to leave the church with this pain anymore in my feet. So I determined that this pain is going to go because it was so difficult. You know, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk properly. You know, when I'm going to the shop, when I'm going to work, when I'm coming to the church, and I said to God, no, I don't accept this because I'm coming to your house. You know, I want to come to your house pain-free. So, you know, this uh, this purpose that we had, the oil, that, would, that gave me the great opportunity to use the oil. You know, I know it's just the oil, but using the faith and, and determined to with God and say this this pain have to go, it have to go. And this pain went completely after I used, I used the oil. Thank you, Jean from Bullring. You see how strong, you see how powerful. You can learn from this. Notice that she said that although she had this unbearable pain, she did not accept the pain. And this is key when it comes to your healing. You cannot accept the situation. You cannot accept the pain. For you to accept the pain, for you to have an illness, for you to have a problem. I mean, yes, you recognize, you acknowledge that there is a problem. 
But for you to just to sit there and accept it and, and just go through it and just bear it is not faith. Faith is when, okay, yes, I have this pain. Like she said, I have this unbearable pain, but I will go to church. I will pray. I don't accept it. I'm God's child. This pain has to go. And through faith, combined with the use of the oil, combined with her revolt, so the pain left her and she's now pain free. And this is what we're going to do. In a few moments, we're going to do this. We're going to use our faith, not accepting the pain. So you who are right there where you are, no matter what it is that you have physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever may be the diagnosis you received, maybe you have unbearable pain. Maybe you know someone that has unbearable pain. Call them now, invite them to tune in now to the program, and also invite them for this coming Sunday. Yes, we have right now those who are isolating, those who cannot be here in church. So this Sunday, perhaps you won't be able to be here with us. But this won't stop you from connecting online. This is why we have the online service. For those of you who cannot, you're, you're, you're part of the group of risk. You can't be here in the house of God. So you're going to watch the service there online. And as far as you having your oil, call the helpline. You'll know more information how to get yours. But no matter what is the situation, even if whatever you're going through, you have to determine, no, I don't accept this situation. I don't accept this health condition I have. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to overcome it. Even if it's, they say that it's impossible. Even if everyone in my family, there's been, this is part of our, our, our descendants, our, our, it's in our bloodline. Doesn't matter. For God, all things are possible. He needs someone to, to believe. He needs someone to use their faith. Perhaps you'll be the first one then from your family that's going to be healed. And from, from you, then everyone else as well, okay? Let's watch right now the next testimony. Hi, my name is Rosemary and I am from Stratford. I just wanted to give you a quick testimony about the oil. Um, I've been in the church for a while. God has healed me from a lot of things, but there was just one, this illness that I couldn't get rid of. I was suffering from asthma really, really bad. And I used to try and cope with it, you know, every day I tried to cope with it. It was like, I, I, I couldn't see that I had an infirmity. But one day it got really, really bad and God opened my eyes and I realized, my goodness, I do have an infirmity. So I used my faith. Um, we had a purpose in church uh, where we it was standing in front of the throne and giving um, um, our problems and worries to God. So I used that purpose as an opportunity as well to use my faith. So I prayed. I anointed myself um, in my actual chest. I actually anointed my chest and I did the purpose as well. I also did a little, um, a kind of mini um, sacrifice on the altar um, just to combine all of these things for my health. And God is so amazing. The very, on that very day, I received my healing because God showed me certain things that I needed to change in my life. And um, also with the oil, as I was using that day after day after day, I got my healing. And today I am free. I'm free for asthma. I don't even remember that I had asthma anymore. That's how amazing our God is. Thank you, Rosemary, for your testimony. And you see, dear friend, notice that Rosemary, she decided that she had to do something about this problem that she had that at first, it started out very small. She didn't really give it much attention until it got very bad. Don't allow your problems to get from, from bad to worse. It's important that when you have a problem, you have to react to it. Even if something doesn't bother you, oh, it's just something I have, something that's there. No, it's important that you use your faith to revolt against it. That, that's, that's what Marie did. And look how nice. She also discovered spiritually that there was, you know, she, she decided that she would go to God with all her strength. She did a purpose on the altar. She used the oil and ended up discovering there was more to than just the physical part. But spiritually, there was something that she also was changed within her. So believe and determine you will also be the next testimony. Write it there in the comment section now and agree. And I agree with you you will be the next testimony. Write it there in the comment section while we watch the third testimony now.
Hello, my name is Chin Alton. I'm from the branch of Croydon. This is my testimony on the results that I saw after using the oil. So before I came to church, I had a problem with my heart and I've been back and forth with the doctors for a long time and they told me that there was nothing that they could do. Coming to the church, I was told um, that I could use my faith and be healed. There was an oil event and oil was given out. So I took the oil and I challenged God and I said to God, God, heal me. I was very actually, I was revolted because I was so young and I had this problem. So I anointed my chest and after that, the problem disappeared. Thank you, Chinonsa, for your testimony. And if you have a testimony like her, do what she did. Glorify God through your experience. Because I'm sure what she said right now is blessing many people. That like her, what did she hear? The heart condition that she had, there was no cure. There's nothing that she could do. Imagine if she had just resigned and accepted those words. She didn't. And she heard a different word. When she came to the day of power, when she received also the holy oil, on that serv- in that service she heard th- those words. There is a solution for your problem. And that's what you're hearing right now. Look at me please. You who are there watching us and you have a problem that you have been told that there's no solution. I'm telling you now, in Jesus' name, this problem is going to be your next testimony. You're going to glorify God through this situation that you're experiencing right now. And if they told you there's nothing that can be done, be sure that there is nothing impossible for God. This is why this Sunday now, you can join us to be with us the 31st of January now at 10 a.m. here in Finsbury Park at 232 Seven Sisters Road. You have the opportunity to also receive the holy oil that was blessed in the Temple of Solomon. As you can see there, Bishop Macedo, along with other bishops and pastors from around the globe, They blessed the oil. They presented it there on the altar, there in the Temple of Solomon. And a little bit of this oil, a little portion of this oil, you're going to receive. We have already received, yes, some of the oil, and you're going to also have this opportunity to receive yours. And it was determined there, it was determined there on the altar, that wherever this anointing reaches, whoever gets some of this oil and uses it in faith, so God's power, God's greatness will be manifested in that person's life to overcome whatever situation. That's our faith. So get ready this Sunday here in Finsbury Park and in all UCKGs around the world, you'll have the opportunity for once this year. This is going to be the one and only time this year that you have the opportunity to receive the holy oil. All right, let's watch another testimony of someone who experienced God's power. Hi, my name is Alina uh, from the Stratford branch. Uh, my experience with the whole holy oil. I used to have deformation on my skin, which was really painful. And as it was on the feet, it, it, it was hard to walk or wear any shoes. And um, I was using different kind of medication. At that time, I seen the amazing testimony where the lady was about to lose her leg and she used the faith and the oil and she was restored. I was like, I, I have the same oil. I can use my faith and do exactly the same. And uh, the formation disappeared in a few days. It was like three or two days. And... Um, it never came back. Since then, I've been using oil in every occasion where I can just think of, even if I need add to the, my food or anoint myself. And even every day I'm leaving the house, I'm using the holy oil to anoint me and my daughter for the safe return. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Alina from Stratford. You see what I'm talking about. When you share your testimony, it can inspire someone else. That's what Alina said. She saw someone that was going to lose her foot, right? Anointed herself with the oil and was healed. When she heard that testimony, it inspired her to believe that what happened with her, why not? It can happen with me. I have the oil. I have faith. I have the same Jesus. Why not? He can also heal my foot. When you share your testimony, for sure it's going to inspire other people. Right? And I want you to know, dear friend, in a few moments, get your water ready. Have your water prepared. We're going to watch right now the fifth and final testimony, last but not least. And you're going to have your water prepared because after it, we'll be making a prayer of agreement. Yes, have the belief, have the expectation that something's going to happen. Miracles are going to happen, even today, even in this program. 
And of course, leading up to Sunday, the great day, we're going to have the, the distribution of the holy oil and you're going to experience God's power all over the world where, the, where, the, where you have the opportunity at the Universal Church nearest you to receive your oil. You're going to experience God's power. Okay, so have your water ready there with you. If you know someone that maybe you haven't been able to tell them to connect there, do it now because we're going to watch right now the fifth and last testimony and right after it we'll be making a prayer of agreement. Let's watch this testimony now. Hello, my name is Claudia and this is my daughter. So we are from Bristol, but we attend the Swindon branch and today we have a testimony. So there was a time when I was losing weight because I was weak. I didn't feel well. I didn't have any appetite. So concerned me and my mum went to the doctors and when they checked, they realized my um, white cell count was low. Very low. So yeah. that resulted in having more exams to check what was going on. Um, and my white cells were decreasing more and more. Um, and I, they also did an ultrasound on my neck because I also had a few lumps, uh, large lumps on my neck. But my mum, she would anoint my neck with the oil um, and she would pray and I would pray um, every single day Good so that I could get better. Night. Yeah. Um, and then they had actually planned the surgery, but we declined because the day that they planned for it was the day we noticed that my, the lumps on my neck were gone. So we decided to book an appointment later. And when you we went and they went to check, they said everything was gone. Yeah. The lumps and my white um, cell count was back to normal. Back to normal, yeah. Ev everything, everything was good. So yeah. we thank God for this miracle and we thank um, yeah. God for using us to tell this testimony to you guys. So yeah, Amen. thank you. We thank God for this miracle because and for blessing well, us. Yeah, it was a miracle. Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Giovanna. Thank you, Claudia, for your testimony. And yes, that's it. Let's agree right now that what happened with them, what happened in the life of this young lady is going to happen with you. Notice that it was already scheduled for her to have the surgery, right? And you see what was supposed to be didn't happen. And the white blood cells as well, the count, it normalized. How did that happen? We can't explain it. What exactly did she do? She believed. She used her faith. And that's what you need to understand. The miracle that you're in need of, you don't need to try to understand how it's going to happen. How is this problem going to go away when I was told that there's no solution? Maybe right now you've connected and you're afraid about what you've heard. You, you, you live in fear about what the words you receive. You receive a diagnosis. You receive a negative word. Maybe you went already to the clinic, to the doctor, and the results that you got back weren't, weren't good. You, you were expecting that you would have already have beaten this, this sickness, this problem you've had. It doesn't matter. Don't lose faith. Don't doubt and don't be afraid. Trust in God. Believe that He is the God that heals you. And you have to persevere. You have to already claim, when we make this prayer now, claim believing, I am healed. And live believing that Jesus, He already healed you. Yes, what does that mean? That you continue anointing yourself, you continue praying, you come this Sunday to the day of power, but you live your life believing the miracle has already happened. Let's determine this. Let's join our faith. Get your water now because right after this, we're going to start our prayer. If you know someone, it's someone in your house right now that is sick, call them now. Let's unite our faith and declare that God's power will be manifested right now in your life. My Lord, my God and Father, in the name of Jesus, we are in your presence. We, uni we unite our faith. We join together now in one spirit, in one faith. And praying with me, Lord, there, there are people now who are in pain. People right now, Lord, that have an illness. That maybe, Lord, they have problems in an internal organ, their stomach, their, their kidney, their liver. Maybe they're having problem breathing, problems in their lungs. There are people, Lord, who their, their, blood, their bloodstream, problems in their blood, problems, my Lord, with diabetes, high blood pressure. There are people now, Lord, who have problems in their back, in their spine, 
even to walk, even to put on their shoe is a problem. For some people to even get out of the, the bed, Lord, it's a problem. It's been a problem, Lord, living with this, this, this illness, having to take, Lord, all kinds of medications. There are people, Lord, that perhaps they've been in fear, living afraid, Lord, that they're not going to make it. Maybe, Lord, they've been having this thought in their minds, telling them that they're never going to be healed, that they're never going to be okay. But we reject this thought. We rebuke this thought. We rebuke and reject the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of disease, of pain. I pray for those, my God, that perhaps they have, Lord, they have, they have, my Lord, they've got the virus, they've got COVID. Those who right now, they are recovering. Some of them, Lord, have been having difficulty to recover. But in this moment that we pray, in this moment that we determine now in Jesus' name, the miracle happens in their lives. May you breathe upon them the breath of life to fill their lungs with life. Yes, to remove all disease, burn all sickness, burn all suffering. Right now, dear friend, you that have a pain, put your right hand now where that pain is. On your chest, on your foot, on your leg, on your head. Wherever the pain is, put it there now. Because I determine that your hand is like the hands of Jesus. And there is fire coming out from your hands to burn all disease, to burn this chronic pain, to burn this migraine, to burn and destroy now this problem of epilepsy, whatever was causing in you seizures, whatever was causing in you this asthma attacks, problems in your breathing, all sickness, all viruses, right now receive fire, be destroyed. And in the name of Jesus, when I say get out, this person will remove their hands and this illness, this pain will disappear. In the name of Jesus, say with me, all disease, get out from my life. Say all pain, get out from my body and don't ever come back, never return ever again. And if you believe now, take a deep breath. If you want to stand up, you that had pain, I say to you now, be healed. Don't be afraid. Move your body. Do what you couldn't do before. Now lift up your water to heaven. I bless it now. I consecrate this water. And I agree in Jesus' name that God's virtue, His power, be within this water now to be as a spiritual medicine. When it comes into your body to destroy all illness, to give you life, to bring strength into your body. Yes, to bring, to bring strength in those parts of your body, the muscles that were weak, the, the legs, the bones that you had in pain, the swelling disappears. Be healed from all that was affecting you. And even those who were praying for someone in the family, we bless those, bless those who've been in the hospital. We pray, my God, for every physician, every nurse, every doctor, Lord, that's been treating patients. They're in the front line helping people, my God, those who maybe themselves have become ill. We pray for them, Jesus. We pray that in this moment that we determine healing is reaching those people, those who are in the hospital, those who are at home, those who are self-isolating now, that you give them strength. And if you believe, say, I believe, say, amen, and thank you, Jesus. Take a deep breath, dear friend, and drink your water now and be blessed. Amen. Determine now by your faith that you are blessed, that you are healed. I'm sure. And if you have experienced now God's power, the pain that you had is gone. The headache that you had is gone. You can move your body in ways that you couldn't before. You can see clear now. You can hear better now. So write it there in the comment section. Give thanks to God for what He did. Right there in the comment section, type it there, what happened to you after you've made this prayer. Yes. And believe, dear friend, this is just the beginning because this Sunday, 31st January, as you can see right there on your screen, you have the opportunity to receive the holy oil that was blessed there at the Temple of Solomon. It will be a, a great day. It will be a day of power. You experience His power in your life. You will experience healing in your life, you and your family. Okay? Here at 232 Seven Sisters Road, here in London, here in Finsbury Park, and in all UCKG help centers around the world, you have the opportunity to receive your oil as well. And you can call this number if you want to know more information at 020-7686-6000. Maybe you are self-isolating, you have questions as well. Call that number and for sure we'll have someone there to help you, to give you instructions and what to do. All right. As you can see there tomorrow, 7.30 p.m., we'll have the Lord's Supper. 
Yes, in person, make sure you come, renew your covenant with God, join us here as we'll be seeking the Holy Spirit. Yes, we've decided that Wednesdays and Sundays in these first seven months of the year, yes, the seven months between January and July, we'll be giving them to God. Wednesdays and Sundays being in the house of God and we'll be seeking, yes, the, the seven manifestations of the Holy Spirit. One of them being the Spirit of the Lord. Tomorrow, you'll be here seeking the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord coming upon you. And yes, we'll be in the Lord's Supper if you're watching from home. So, because you're self-isolating, prepare your bread, prepare your grape juice, have it there by your side and participate with us in the Lord's Supper. Okay? So, may God bless all of you. Have a great evening. I'm sure that you are getting ready for the Sunday now, the day of power, the day of receiving the holy oil. Prepare yourself. I know you've received miracles today, but imagine what's going to happen this coming Sunday, okay? We'll see you then. God bless you, and until next time. On Sunday, 31st January, a free distribution of the holy oil will occur at 10 a.m. at 232 Seven Sisters Road, Finsbury Park, London N4 3NX or at any universal church near you. This will be the only distribution this year. Oh Lord, I praise your name For all of my life you are the air I breathe And you raise me up on high The sound of your voice Is sweet and strong within me To leave this cave behind And the rise for heaven's fire Though the earth has quaked beneath Though storms and fire roar Though dangers all around Your voice is calm and sure Orbit of the stars and the limits of the seas, you set in perfect order, and in your arms I'm free. There is no fortress. A stronghold that can stand before the power of your voice, no condemnation, nor affliction can stand before a faith that fights in joy. Storms come to a whisper. i
Due to ongoing concerns with COVID-19, we would like to reassure our members and visitors that all UCKG venues remain a safe place to attend for private prayers and services. Communal areas are regularly cleaned and individual single-use materials are provided in place of shared materials. Social distancing procedures continue to be in operation at all our venues to ensure your safety and protection as well as that of others. We operate a meticulous cleaning schedule during and in between services. You can be confident that though these are unprecedented times, the UCKG remains a safe place for you and your family at all times. Join us today at your nearest venue. Find out more by going to uckg.org forward slash addresses or by calling 0207686-6000 Be inspired Liberty Radio. If you would like to donate in support of this work, please do so by any of the following ways. Via online banking using our details as provided, through the QR code which will take you to the payment page on our website, or via Pingit with the details provided. Thank you for your help. <laughs> 